Y step 2 here we are adding employee ID and employee name so each two items stands for single employee this is why I am jumping two steps at a time now S equal S and um, C of I plus 1 because I want people to see the name of the employee which is the uh, index plus 1 not the value of the ID itself okay and BB new line okay that's it finally I will update the display so dgv dot uh, rows of rn cells of uh, cn dot value equal s so this is a pretty much it uh, let me just put a note on this function or subroutine this subroutine is used to update the display display of a single cell okay um, so this is pretty much it okay I'll explain re-explain this again clear the rows clear the columns create all the columns create uh, and store the tag information uh, sorry store the primary key in the tag and uh, create all the rows and store the primary key in the tag okay for um, and finally uh, for all the cells uh, create new collections okay now go to the working schedule get the day ID store ID employee ID search for the correct row ID uh, by uh, by checking the tag value okay to know which row you must uh, uh, select and also search for the column ID by searching the tag value after that search for the actual name of the employee in order to know what to display and then update the collection uh, for that cell get that cell and update its collection and then update the display and this function will get the collection it will add uh, the names in into this string uh, okay so that each name comes after the other uh, or below the other the VB new line will make you move to a new line okay and uh, update it so this is it so let's run this code and see how it works okay so if we look here we can see Michael we can see Smith it's as simple as that um, okay so now let's get to the next step which uh, which is that we want to be able to drag information from here and put it here okay now in order to allow uh, a drag and the drop uh, operations to work okay click on the control and go and change uh, allow drop property to true and the data grid view change its allow drop property to true as well okay now go to the list box double click that and select the mouse down event okay this means when you click on the uh, list box and you keep it clicking what are we gonna do is the following uh, yeah, okay, write list box one dot uh, uh, do drag and drop. Now I need to specify the data so uh, that I want to send. So it's very easy. It will be list box one dot uh, selected value. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, the second parameter. Uh, actually I want to pretend that I know the second para what does the second parameter do so you just select all and uh, that's it okay uh, okay so this is it. this is the first part actually okay so let's just check how it looks like okay so you drag this one okay you can see now the icon changes now we must work on the drop operation over here okay uh, okay so all you have to do is go to the application sorry let me just close this one and uh, double click on this one okay uh, now there is a property here or it's a D letter D D D there is a drag all verb okay which means when you start moving the mouse over this form uh, dot allowed effect equal all okay you have to do, uh, wait a minute Did I just 
Uh, wait a minute. Drug, wait a minute. Uh, wait. Uh, the problem, I don't work uh, a lot with this one, so actually uh, I forget the steps to do it. Okay, so actually the drag drop is the important one. So dimension um, EMP ID as uh, string equal e dot data dot uh, get formats I guess okay uh, string format dot string I think there was something like this the problem is uh, this one is a little bit confusing let me see okay I will have to do a little bit of a cheat and see how did I do it the other time okay sorry about that okay so yeah okay so this one was actually correct but the problem is with this one yeah data format or string format it's this one okay okay mm. sorry I have to cheat a little bit okay so here uh, I received the value from the drag operation and I am gonna get it like this okay the drag over it will be it, uh, what was it? Why well, I was getting the error? Uh, e dot effect. Yeah, it's e dot effect. Okay, never mind. Uh, e dot effect equal drop effect all. Okay, so that's it. So I am getting this one. I am gonna do a a, a message box just to make sure that I got the correct ID. So if I run this one, okay, I'm gonna get Michael here. So I get his primary key. If I'm gonna get John, it's E3, and so on. Now, um, the technique is, uh, the rest is actually not hard to do, okay? So the part I got the IDs here, okay, I already got the ID. I just need to know the column and the row. So dimension R and uh, sorry uh, R V R N as uh, integer equal D G V dot selected uh, cells of zero uh, dot row row index dimension cn as integer equal dgv dot selected cells of zero dot column index now dimension store id as string uh, equals uh, as string equals um, <coughs> dgv dot rows of rn dot tag and dimension after the store what do we have R store id and uh, um, day id a string equal dgv dot columns of cn tag okay so i got all the information now i am ready to add these all I have to do is <coughs> uh, me dot uh, working schedule well table adapter dot insert okay I need to uh, to provide EMP ID I need to provide a store ID I need to provide day ID as you can see here it's very easy to do okay uh last thing i need to get the actual name of the person here so i am gonna also cheat again and copy some of the code i did previously and it should be here okay control c okay 
to be so here um, this is it and in PID I got the name now dimension C as collection equal DGB dot selected cells of zero dot tag C dot add uh, AMP ID C dot add NME and finally just update the uh, cell info so now update cell info and I need to provide the uh, row number column number okay so it's not that difficult the first statement receive the value dropped the second uh, statement get you the row number this one gets you the column number this one I am gonna use to get the store ID and this one I am gonna use to get the column ID and then I'm gonna perform an insert operation against the database and update everything else uh, obviously um, it's better practice if you go and up, uh, refold the working uh, schedule so probably uh, uh, <coughs> working schedule the table adapter dot full or uh, test data set dot work schedule work schedule that's it okay it's better if we do it like this okay uh, so that we get the value again from the database okay so this is pretty much the code so let's run this and see how it turns out to be hope everything will be okay I hope so get Smith okay um, as you can see here this is Smith I'm gonna select another cell drag John and drop him, drag Michael and drop him okay uh, you will have to s to change a number of property like their row height uh, for this one to work okay uh, there are a number of issues here like I can drag and drop the person twice so you can add some kind of a search mechanism to prevent such kind of errors okay so now before I do uh, an insert operation where is the insert operation which is this one okay uh, I am gonna put the insert operation here okay okay so I will copy this uh, from here to here okay and then I am gonna search for uh, the ID of the person Okay, so for i for i equals zero. Uh, sorry, one to uh, c dot count step two. If uh, c of i equal a and p i d, then exit sub. Okay, so if the name already exists, I will not add it. Add it. I will exit right away. So now let's look at the code. Okay, uh, sorry, let's look at the execution now. This is Smith. This is Michael. Now, let me just make this a little bit bigger. Smith again, nothing happens. Michael again, nothing happens. But John, he's, he's being added. Okay, so this is it. This is how you can do uh, such programming, uh, such, uh, such a thing. Okay. The important part here, if you look at these, okay, this is the test data set. I only access the, uh, the, uh, the table and I get the counter property which returns how many rows in a specific table. And uh, in order to access a specific uh, a row, I will use the uh, name of the table followed by two brackets, uh, specify the row number, dot the item then specify the column number so this is how you can work with multiple tables through your code and uh, have better control over the interface and over the data okay so I hope uh, you find this useful if you have further questions um, or uh, notes send them to mka-soft.com uh, notes at mka-soft.com thank you for watching uh, and have a wonderful day bye bye